FCX24 is absolutely phantasmo. But what about something that's about the same size and quite a bit cheaper? I know, I know another jeep but let's give it a chance together because it's 90 dollars compared to the typical price of 150 and actually right now it's on sale plus there's a coupon in the description for it so this is just going to be a quick overview a slight comparison to this and then we're going to test both of them in the field and see if this at least gets close maybe it'll do even better those are some aggressive blinkers steering seems pretty good the mirrors fold in it has an actual spare tire which is a nice touch a scaled tow hitch four link suspension in the front and rear fully plastic also flexible these are pretty flexible too but i'm going to argue that these are more flexible flex comparison fms wins by a small margin but this rubs on the fender and this doesn't much easier to reach on off switch not horrible but difficult to reach on off switch plastic telescoping non-opposing drive shafts same on the fms two speed transmission only a single speed but you do still have a speed switch here one two and three that just controls the speed of the motor though not a mechanical gearbox both use clipless body systems this one only uses two clips while that uses four. I wouldn't necessarily say it's easier though. They're about the same. Metal chassis rails with full plastic uh, fender liners, floorboards, all that stuff. Non-oil filled shocks, non-oil filled shocks. Unless of course you get the 18th anniversary limited edition with brushless motor and oil filled shocks. These tires are a little softer. These are a little bit firmer, but they they feel stickier. Actually, I changed my mind on the body clips. This one is easier to get off. This one's probably easier to get back on. However, this is a terrible battery system. The strap, I should say. It's a rubber band and it's got the tiniest groove ever that it's got to fit into. There we go. With that said, lithium ion, these come with lipos. You can see our two-in-one ESC receiver, axle mounted steering servo, same. All right, time for them to go settle this outside. Try that spot. <laughs> Drag race three, two, one, go. Ah, one, two, three, go. in the spider web. Ew. <laughs> yeah, dude.
I didn't expect it to get up there. <laughs> we had the rescue Jeep already. Let's get it stuck this time. Oh man, what are we gonna do? Oh yeah! Something I didn't really, oh, got windy. Something I didn't really notice earlier is this actually is a little bit heavier than the FMS. Probably due to that metal chassis rail, which is plastic on this dude. Yeah. Woo. Now I can't remember if I mentioned if this, that this one does not have portal axles like the FMS does. All right. This is an impressive rig for the price. Holy crap. Man, this little thing's not bad at all. Now watch this.
Oh. Okay, I that actually surprised me. I thought FMS was gonna win with flying colors. Maybe not flying colors, but at least gliding colors, walk walking colors, some colors. I'd mentioned this dude's got some more weight to it, and since it's probably from that metal chassis, that's low gravity weight. So you can actually tell that it's harder to flip this car over. It does sit just a tiny bit lower than the Blazer, maybe a quarter inch or so more ground clearance because of those portal axles, but that's also raising that center of gravity and making it easier to topple. And there weren't that many instances where I felt like portal axles would have helped this a whole lot. So that gives this a little more scale points and not really a whole lot of loss in performance. The FMS has an actual drag brake, while this one, I don't believe it has a drag brake. It's just the friction of the gears and the motor itself acting as one which for going down that ramp actually was an advantage I did not have a problem with it rolling out of position at all other than that ramp which again was a good thing I would say the biggest advantage this has is that you can feel that it's torquier it's easier to pull the trigger to get over obstacles than this is you have to you have to goose it just a little bit more but with that said the whole point of this video is it worth that 60 to 70 dollar difference well, that depends on what you want. I love FMS. Typically, the price and quality is pretty hard to beat. But with the price and similar performance, yeah, this deserved a chance at a face-off. Overall, build quality is better on the FMS. The electronics are better on the FMS. Oh, I forgot to show it earlier, but this does come with stickers. Forgot to put them on. Now, there are already parts available for this at JJRCToys.com, and there are even metal upgrade parts available already. You can get all the parts for the FMS FMS along with some upgrades on their own website. The tires on the Jeep were superior to these. They're grippier and slightly taller. Both failed the 45 degree incline test, but this also has that spare tire weighing it down in the rear. Taking that off, it may have done it. I'd say this is just as much fun, maybe more because I didn't have to flip it as many times. And as far as capability wise, I think this one just barely is a little more capable probably mostly due to the tires. My opinion is that the old style Blazer definitely looks better than a Jeep Cherokee. Build quality goes a long way. You could put better tires on this, maybe add a little bit of front end weight, and it's most likely gonna outperform. But if budget is your main concern, this was very good. Oh, poopy biscuits. I just noticed we lost our ball hitch. Wow.